Life has to be lived once. On your deathbed, only memories matter. And today I'm about to strike off something from my bucket list. Driving from Delhi to Leh and upwards, over 1200 plus kilometer. Now crossing the famed Atal Tunnel, named after a former PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee, and at a length of 9.02 km, it is the longest tunnel above 10,000 feet in the world. The road towards Leh can be dubiously crowned as the most beautiful at the same time most treacherous roads. There are patches that do long ones where the tarmac does not exist and it's a semi to even extreme off-road experience. But the moment you look up from the roads, it's all a beautiful painting all around. This is where the XC60 and 90 really make a huge difference. It's equipped with air suspension and can manually be raised to glide over those extreme rough patches and lower down for a smooth drive again. Driving to Leh is exciting, it's adventurous, yes, of course, everybody wants to do it, but you have to be really well prepared. We left Manali at 5, 5 a.m. because, you know, you have, there's no stopover. There's a stopover in a search over there, these tents, bus, but I will suggest that you should drive non-stop to Leh, you'll reach in 12 hours. If you leave late, then you'll be in surprise. Couple of things to keep in mind. A, you will start cruising at 17,000 feet above sea level, so you'll, you, you will feel breathless. The moment you step out to stretch, a few steps you'll feel that there's a lack of oxygen. So your body has to get used to it. People start throwing up. There are a lot of issues. You shouldn't eat more. And there are no cafes on the way. There are no fuel pumps. There's no nothing. There's, in fact, there's roads being dug up. There are no roads, so you have to be really well prepared. You have to see the video to know what I'm talking about. But you have to be really very well planned. I'm right now I'm doing the 21 hairpin, you know, that 21 loop hairpin. You can see there are mountains, there's beautiful, there are these sharp turns and people are very, very, uh, you know, uh, they're very cooperative. If the truck is there, they'll give you a pass, they'll show you that there's nothing in front of you. It's very, very well planned, but the roads are a surprise because of continuous landslides, the roads are dug up. There are, there are stretches of few kilometers where there are no roads, you know. We are in Volvos, so we have nothing to worry because this XC90 and X60 went through everything like a glide. We had these sun dunes, we had uh, we had rocky uh, paved roads, we had water, muddles, everything. We paved, I mean, very happy and it's very comfortable. Whenever you're tired, you can get the massage seat on. You really can't complain. But when you go for the road trip, pick the right way. There is something about having Maggie in the hills. Somehow the same package tastes delicious. Maybe in your minds you know that the choice of food is limited. It's time for a Maggie break. Once you cross Pang, the roads are like butter and it would feel like you're driving towards a paradise. This is where I am, Hotel Grand Dragon in Leh, one of the most luxurious properties around. In fact, after a 14 hour drive from Manali, this feels like home completely. Some of the folks have taken the easy route out, they're coming by air, and I was considering the same. Till XC90 and XC60 came on the scene, things changed. Destination is unimportant, journey it is. And what hell of a journey we had with the Volvos right from the terrains. Now, we are off to an off roading experience, but before that, let's have breakfast by the industry. <laughs> Another 
a must have to do in Leh is to go for rafting. It's quite an experience and at that altitude landscape, the rapids can get exciting but it's not as extreme as the Rishikesh one. Well, as you can see, we managed to pack seven folks in the Nani right now. Everybody is comfortable and we headed to Thikse Monastery which is a must visit in Leh. And the interesting thing about the Thikse is that it's located at 11,000 feet above sea level. Houses a 12 story complex, has many statues and stupas from the Buddhism. But right now, Roshan is sitting in the third row. How are you feeling, Roshan? Is it good? I think it's okay with this front seats with the middle row. Of course, but you look better behind the XC60, leave the 90 for me. So XC60 is, I think it's better than the 90. This yeah. is the granddaddy, you know, like all big, slow. XC60 is more chunkable on these roads. So, but 90 is more commanding. Anyways, both are good. Imagine the power of cinema. Three Idiot Movie has left such a big footprint in our minds and in Leh you have a memorial for that. I think this would be first for any Hindi cinema. Incredible. Nubra Valley is a cold desert. 150 km from Leh and an average altitude about 10,000 meter above sea level. And now the twist, to reach Nubra, you drive through Khardungla Pass which is at about 17,500 feet. So you see you go uphill, downhill drive and this is where the hill start assist and hill descent control of the XC90 makes the drive effortless. Another thing to do at Nubra Valley is to do go-kart and ATV ride, simply because these are the highest tracks in the world. And the moment you hear the word highest, you want to claim that experience and is worth every penny of it. So what do you do when you're at Ladakh? Look at these beautiful mountains, the sand dunes, the rivers. But as a gearhead, we love actually taking our cars for a spin, right? But this is different. We are at the go-karting track, which is the world's highest at 10,357 feet above sea level. So why not? Let's set some lap times. I know Roshan, this might sound very weird, but don't forget, this has got us to the highest track in the world. The guys, this so is going thought, crazy. Yes, it's crazy. It might sound very weird, but let's have some fun. It's a 4x4 luxury SUV. That's a nimble machine, I know. But you don't think that it's, it can't do what it can do because it has got us till here. We'll do best of three laps. Okay. You go first. Okay. Then I'll go. Okay. Whoever has been winning will give the other person a heads up. Okay. And then we'll have the final race. Whoever wins, bites the dust. All right, stage is set now. We had the best of three laps. Roshan in the go-kart. 160cc single cylinder rear wheel drive engine petrol engine but i have to give him a five second heads up because it's a small boy so let me give him a heads up there we go five four three two one and go that's it let's see who does it now and now this burger is not going to let me go in front which is where the problem lies Ramesh, you lost, that's dude. Not, that's not fair. You, you lost. just blocked me. You lost. Let's go to the ATV track, track now. ATV Let next. Let's see on the ATV track now. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> Imagine 
Imagine miles of sand dunes on top of a mountain, it's a surreal sight for the eyes. But that's what the cold desert in Nubra Valley offers. It's time to head back to Leh. We could not pack Pangong Lake in the schedule simply because you have to leave something for the next time. journey comes to an end but what continues is a lifetime filled with memories and it's time to say goodbye to the Volvo XC90 and XC60 which has made it happen you know which has made it happen at the time of luxury because they are two luxury SUVs which has been able to help us help me in fact strike off something from my bucket list.